Hello everyone. Welcome to Jesus for All, God's Word, Your Daily Bread. Beginning today, July 1st, 2021, I will be coming to you with a reading from God's Holy Word, the Bible. God's Word in Proverbs 19 and verse 20 and 21 says, Listen to counsel and receive instruction that you may be wise in your latter days. These are the latter days. And verse 21 says, there are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel, that will stand. And so I will be bringing you the Lord's counsel because from eternity it will stand. Today I will begin with proverb number one. In God's infinite wisdom, he gave us 31 Proverbs, one for every day of the month. I will be reading, bringing to you every day one proverb, an excerpt from the Old Testament, an excerpt from the New Testament, and an excerpt from the Psalms, of which there are 150 Psalms. In this manner, if we continue throughout the year, you will have heard read through the Bible along with me, the entire Bible. As it is July 1st, we will read through half of the Bible, or a little less than half. So let us begin with Proverbs number 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction. To perceive the words of understanding to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity, to give prudence to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion, a wise man will hear and increase learning, and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel, to understand a proverb and an enigma, the words of the wise and their riddles. Verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of your father, and do not forsake the law of your mother, for they will be a graceful ornament on your head and chains about your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, come with us, let us lie and wait to shed blood. Let us lurk secretly for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them alive like Sheol and, and whole like those who go down to the pit. Verse 13, we shall find all kinds of precious possessions. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in your lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your foot from their path, for their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. But they lie in wait for their own blood. They lurk secretly for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone who is greedy for gain. It takes away the life of its owners. Wisdom calls aloud outside. She raises her voice in the open squares. Verse 21, she cries out in the chief concourses at the openings of the gates in the city. She speaks her words. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn at my rebuke. Surely I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make my words known to you. Because I have called you and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no one regarded. Verse 25, because you disdained all my counsel and would have none of my rebuke, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your terror comes. When your terror comes like a storm and your destruction comes like a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me. Verse 29, because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would have none of my counsel and despise my every rebuke. 
Therefore they shall eat the fruit of their own way, and be filled to the full with their own fancies. Verse 30, 32. For the turning away of the simple will slay them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will dwell safely, and will be secure without fear of evil. And this is the word of the Lord from Proverbs 1, the first proverb of 31.